Okay, we're going to make a superhero picture. Uh, first thing you'll want, if you haven't got it already, is GIMP. GIMP is completely free, just download it. And there's some fat fantastic editing software. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. The other thing you'll need is the picture of what we're going to edit. In this case, it's going to be Supergirl. So you just scout the internet. Ideally, you want it with no background. Um, just makes life so much easier. So I'll be view this image. Uh, save image, Supergirl. Uh, it's my desktop. I've got GIMP installed, so let's just open GIMP up. Oh, that's what I was doing earlier. Yeah. Okay, so we've got got GIMP up and running anyway. So GIMP back in the top. And I want the picture I just placed on my desktop. Where is it? Okay, the other thing is you need to find a picture that you can work with. Um, in this case, this is my daughter. Uh, so I'll just throw this in here. And then you use this lasso tool up on the top here. And we're only looking for the head. Depending on what picture you've got, you may want a neck and you may not. The easiest one is actually just to do the chin. So we'll go around my daughter's chin. Get my daughter's ear. Slightly working now. Doesn't have to be perfect because obviously this is a Lego one, so it's designed to be a bit blocky. Um, you just want to keep it simple. All the way back round. What we're doing is we're actually working our way back to our starting point. So slowly work up here. Like I says because it's Lego doesn't have to be so fussy on the uh, making it you know getting all the extra bits in because if you wanted you can edit this remove the background but this is the quickest way of doing it and what we want to do is just cut that and if we go to the desktop again get Supergirl just throw on the top here oh hang on open it sorry my mistake. Open desktop yeah, somewhere. Did I name it Lego game? No. Yeah, pictures. Use one. Not lag. Now I'm struggling. This is why it's worth renaming your files when you get. It. Oh, there we go. It's super gone. So I'm Supergirl. Show them. There we go. Um, one of the things I've got is when I paste this, so I just want to paste this on the top. It's huge. But what you need to do is just go to this tool here, which is actually to resize it. As you can see, it's massive. So I'm going to drop that down to 300 by 300 for now. I'm not too fussed on the proportions and if it's distorted slightly because I'll edit that. Okay, that didn't look like anything happened. Let's try again. 300. By 300. Scale. That's strange. Doing it. Nah, okay. If it doesn't play ball, I'm not too bad. I'm just going to get the picture to drop down. Let's do that. Scale that. Okay, it's somewhere near. Don't worry, it's off the picture. It's still grayed out as such. So if I can bring it back up. Well, bring my daughter back up. Rescale it again. So we get it. Get our head the right shape, and we're getting close. So, use this one to move. And 
Our head is still a little bit big. So drop it down again. Let's try that. And I just want to move her position. Could do with the head being a little bit bigger now. So just rescale it up. Scale. And then move her head into the center. Okay. And now uh, zoom in. Um, what I do is I use control and just move the mouse wheel. Uh, the other way of doing that, there'll be a view, zoom, there you go. You can do it up here. But if you just hold the control control button and roll, scroll your mouse, I'll move it in and out anyway. Well, don't want to move the background. I'll stop moving the background. Okay. So the next thing is I want to copy the background color. So we take this tool here, which takes a um, sample and changes your brush to that. The next thing is want the pencil. Now if we zoom in here, you can see where the blonde hair was. And what I normally do is I'll try and do the outside as close as I can first without getting too close to the edges. Then let go of the mouse button because then it I mean I don't have to go too far uh, too far back if I'm making mistakes. So basically just adjust that in. There is another mouse another um, tab here which has disappeared. You know. So we can open my tabs, paint tools. There's the other tabs. There's a there's another one in Easy See that sits on the right hand side. I'm just trying to find it. I must have closed it by accident. Alright, well, you can when you open yours, it'll have it. Let's put it that way. So I won't fuss about with that too much because I'm trying to keep this tutorial short. But what you want to do is then reduce the brush size, zoom in a bit closer, and slowly move out the last bits. This ain't got to be perfect because I've, I've left the uh, the brush tool, um, the brush size out. It should be on this side, but I will switch it on. But you get the idea. Then you just save it, and that's it. You've you've made your uh, little superheroes. All right. Thanks for watching.